Hey guys, it's Simone here. I hope you're having a great day so far. Listen, I was in the shower this morning. I don't know if any of you are like me where you get a lot of your messages like in the shower, in the bathroom, like TMI, right? But I, anytime I'm around water, um, specifically when I'm in the shower, it's like I'm on fire. I get all kinds of messages for myself and other people. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start really videoing all these crazy things that um, I get when I'm in the shower. It's it's, uh, it's fun and conversational videos, I think. So I want to start sharing a lot more of those with you. But this morning, I was reminded of a time, and I think everyone in their spiritual journey can kind of relate to this. I was reminded of a time when I was struggling to feel connected with spirit. And it's not like, you know, I had just started out and I didn't know what I was doing. It's like, I'm well into doing this. You know, I have lots of clients under my belt. Um, I'm doing this for a living. And I, it's just like, all of a sudden my antennas were like off. <laughs> it was like, you know, I felt like I was showing up. Like I have my meditation routine down. I have my journaling routine down. You know, all the things that I do to feel connected with spirit. I have those things down. I'm doing them. And all of a sudden, I can't sense you. I can't feel you. I can't see you like I was. And I feel like I'm showing up. And in a sense, I'm not feeling that in return, right? And so let's get like serious and deep and talk about this because this is, you know, something I think a lot of people don't talk about, but that all of a sudden that feeling of like not feeling like you're connected or as connected as you maybe once were. And it can even seem uh, in a sense if you've gone from like a very highly like in tune person to now all of a sudden, you know, that's like far away from you or you feel so far away from it it can feel a little bit like rejection so now you know being you know past that and not have experienced that in in years I'm reminded of how I got through that time because it can really feel like you're alone you're already a little bit of an outsider in some sense if you don't have a lot of people in your circle that um, are as spiritual as you or on the same journey um, as you are but then to feel like you know, you're not connected with spirit as well. It can feel like a double whammy. Like I'm really alone in this. I remember having a conversation with a friend about this years ago and she was asking me like, how do you avoid that? Like, how do you just get past that? that like that's, you know, I don't even want to feel that. And I'm like, and I remember telling her like, you don't avoid it. You get through it. Don't think of like, not doing it just think of okay how do I get through this and there's two specific things that I remember now looking back that were like aha moments for me of getting through that experience number one is trying to think back to what it is you're connecting like what's going on in your life right now what things are you struggling with what are you trying to get answers to and what have you thought or felt or gotten messages on that subject um, from spirit about like what was the overall message and then did you heed to it so if you're thinking like you know maybe I'm trying to get clear on what path I'm supposed to take with my business but spirit has already confirmed to you in different ways or more than once you know the route that you need to take sometimes spirit steps back right it's a purposeful silence to help you reconnect inward. They don't need to keep confirming to you what they've already done. You don't need another, what's the 20th confirmation gonna do for you? At this point, it's about taking action. So sometimes spirit will step back and do a purposeful silence for you so that you can get clear. You can draw inward, remember what they've already told you, and now make a plan to take action it's not about sitting and, and confirmation and thinking anymore. It's about what do I need to do to take action on the things that I already know Spirit has told me. If I haven't done those things yet, then that's that might be something that you need to look into to, to now taking the steps forward. The second thing is trusting in your own intuition. So even if you're feeling like you're not getting those external messages from spirit or you're not getting maybe the internal you know auditory or however you receive your messages things aren't coming to you when you're scripting or journaling 
we have this innate intuition in ourselves, in our body. And part of our spiritual process should be to get in tune with that as well. My body goes haywire when I'm on to something. You know, I just, I have those in- instincts, those gut feelings, those tinglings, you know. I have those things and so do all of you. We all have that. Um So one of those things is spirit sometimes steps back to say, okay, you don't need the external messages, the repetitive numbers, the feathers, the pennies, whatever, you know, you're getting your your meditations. We don't need to give you the external stuff. You need to start listening and trusting your internal compass. And so they'll step back and say, okay, you don't need us to tell you. You already know. We don't need to reconfirm that for you. You already know, let's start trusting ourselves, And then there's a process in that as well. So those are the two things that I would tell you to start working on is trusting in your own intuition, that inner compass when you feel like maybe I'm not connecting with spirit right now in the ways that I am used to, the ways that are comfortable for me. Um, they could be challenging you to say, okay, our relationship is strong here. You've got this. You know, you've got it. Now it's time for you to got you. <laughs> now it's time for you to really reconnect with your in your own internal compass as well. And then the second thing could be that spirit has already given you information and all the things that you need to know to move forward. You have just not taken those steps, um, maybe out of fear or other reasons, but you haven't ta- taken those steps externally. And now they're kind of saying, hey, we're going to pause you on, on the, the, the messages And we are going to help you take the steps forward. And it may be a little uncomfortable, um, but know that this is for your highest good. What I can tell you is that it doesn't last. And I want you to find comfort in that. It does not last. Um, It is something that, that is a phase. And it's happened to me maybe two or three times that I can think of. And one time really strongly where I felt like, what is going on? Um, other times it was very kind of small or didn't last very long. Um, and I knew that there was a lesson and a journey in it for me. So I just wanted to share that with you today. I thought that would be an interesting subject to bring up as it came to my mind while I was in the shower. Um, you know, just don't try and avoid it, get through it and learn the lesson from it. But spirit's always there, even if we feel disconnected. Sometimes our human experiences um, get in the way of our of our receptors too. We have to deal with life as well. So just know that and know that it's not a forever thing if you're going through it or have gone through it. On that note, I hope you have a great day, lovelies. If, uh, if you're guided to book an appointment with me, a free alignment and expansion call, I am ready to help you rock your business from the tacni- tactical side, from the mindset side, and of course, from the spirituality side. I love you and uh, book up an appointment today. Let's get your business rocking. Let's figure out where your next step is to grow a massive, massive business. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.